Hello, my name is Dan Popovich. I'm a developer in the development team of Candela Studio. Today I want to show you a useful feature of Candela Studio, the compare view. The compare view does not only allow to compare two documents, but also to transfer data from one document to the other in order to reuse it. I have opened Candela Studio and opened two files which I would like to compare. In order to open compare view, I select the CU node and click in the context menu on select as left side for compare. I switch to the other document and again in the context menu press compare to the first document. Compare view is opened and you see the differences between the two documents. Firstly, in the left hand side column, the type of the compared object is shown. We have here the ECU, we have differences in some dits and Below that, differences in diagnostic instances. In the middle and the right hand side column, you see the actual data of the documents. So we see here, for instance, there is a did wheel speed in both documents, and in the right hand side document, there is additional data, the direction of rotation. Then we have a did brake pressure, which is missing in the target document. Same for diag instances. We have here wheel speed, brake pressure, which are missing in the target document. And we have a diagnostic instance, inflation pressure, which has a difference in the DID it is using. This is why it is shown here. So the difference is in the DID inflation pressure. Let me show you the data in the documents. I can, for instance, select the DID wheel speed and click on object and target file. And the object is selected in the target file. The same way I can go to the DID in the source file. I tile the window horizontally so that I can also compare the documents visually in the tool. We see here the did wheel speed. There is the wheel speed for front left, front right. And in the target document here we see that additional data direction of rotation. And in the target document the did has a description which is missing in the source document. Let me come back to compare view. We can inspect the differences a little bit better by facilitating some filters in the view. For instance, you can show objects which exist only in the source document on the left hand side. We see here the diagnostic instances and the did. Or we can show those only existent in the right hand side, in the target document. We see here the did with the data direction of rotation. Or we can show differences between the both documents. Another useful filter is to filter out properties. We have, for instance, differences in the description of the ECU or of those dits wheel speed and inflation pressure. I filter out descriptions and they're not shown anymore. I can also filter by object type. So, for instance, if I'm interested just in the dit differences, I select the object type filter dits and only the different dits are shown and as well the diagnostic instance which is using the dit. I reset all filters and show you another useful filter, namely the text filter. I can search for instance for the term pressure and we see here the did inflation pressure, brake pressure existing only in the source document and the diagnostic instances using the did. Another very useful tool of compare view is the file exports. I have switched to export tab and see that I can export the compared documents, or the comparison of the documents to different file formats. I choose for instance export to text file and save the file on desktop. I switch to desktop and see the exported file here. In the preamble of the document you see the active and selected filters. I have filtered or searched for the term press pressure and not selected any object type filter and have not selected any properties to be hidden. That is why we see only the data conforming to filter pressure here and all the other differences are not exported. Let me come back to compare view. Very useful with the compare view is that you can edit the documents while you're comparing them. I selected inflation pressure. It has a difference in the description and in some data. I once again navigate to the object in target file and I will just reset those both differences in order to show you that the differences are not shown anymore. I go to the object and target file, switch back to Candela Studio, the did is selected and I just delete the additional data object mean pressure and I reset the inflation pressure. 
I come back to compare view and as you can see it still shows the differences. I have to click the recompute button after I have edited the documents and now the difference is gone and also the difference of the diagnostic instance which has used the did. The last feature I want to show you today is the data transfer. In order to transfer data from one document to the other I switched to transfer mode. As you can see an additional column with checkboxes has opened. Here you can select data which you would like to transfer from the source document from the left side to the right side. I take for instance the diagnostic instance wheel speed. In the source document it uses a did which is already present in the target document and which has some additional data in the target document. In order to transfer I click on the button transfer, the data is transferred and the view refreshed. What we can see here is that the diagnostic instance wheel speed has been transferred to the target document. In the target document it still reuses the existing did. That is why we can see a difference here because in the did is still the difference in the description and in the data. This was my little tour through Candela Studio's compare view. Those users already familiar with Candela Studio's compare view will have noticed that it looks different now. We have completely reworked it in Candela Studio 13 and added some cool new features like that you can edit the documents while keeping compare view open or that file exports um, take into account filter settings. I hope you have enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye bye.